Omar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. Interesting face-offs there, Jeff. Yeah, very interesting. Big, um, what was that, acrylic, acrylic, clear acrylic screen in front of our face. Go on, go on. Danny, you want a pair. You told me the other day you hated you, man. Oh, this, this one, the middle one with Johnny, yeah? Ready? Okay. Got it? Nice one, Dan, thank you. Well, it's nice to see you and Dan just coming together there for a good cause, to be fair, um, raising money for Yemen, uh, Joe. Yeah, yeah, no, it's for a good cause, and, you know, it's, it's good. It's good that we uh, both agree on something. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, very weird, isn't it today? Like looking, like face-offs in front of a screen. So, uh, it's a bit different. I think the last time that happened would have been uh, H. Azora. Oh yeah, yeah, for, <laughs> for different reasons. Yeah, <laughs> for, for different, different reasons. reasons. Yeah. Uh, Joe, uh, you go into this fight on Saturday night with obviously everyone talking to you about Daniel the Boss still in October. Yeah. Um, is that in your mind as well, Dan in October? Well, it's, it's still quite a long way away, and I've got Wallace, who's a very game opponent, opponent that's going to be see throwing, throwing lever at me, so I'm going to have to be switched on and you know, get the win and come out comfortably, and then I can then look, for, uh, you know, look forward to getting in the ring with da Dynamite Devoir. So, um, so then well, hopefully I'll be able to get back to Vegas and get back with Salas and start, um, start my training camp there. Okay, so that's good, that's clear, because obviously um, you're back with your old trainer now yeah. um, and there's no sort of split with Salas, it's only because of the travel reasons and, yeah. and sort of uh, the restrictions. And also um, Steve Broughton has uh, worked with Salas before and he, he's familiar with his kind of style and what he wants and, you know, we've been communicating over WhatsApp and FaceTime, whatever, so, um, like, Salas is still... He's still still around and he's still uh, part of what's going on with my training. So, um, yeah, I just have to uh, just have to get the win on Saturday night and then uh, and then go on to 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 get with, on with training and stuff. So it's uh, it's, but it's going to be a good fight, man. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't been in the ring in over a year, so uh, bring it on. Why do you believe it will be a good fight? What do you know about Michael? Well, I've seen his um, I've seen his previous fights with uh, Yo Kerr and um, Igjagba. Fair Jagba, yeah. Fair Jagba, yeah. So they were. Um, so I saw what he's got, and he's like, no joke. Like it's uh, you know I have to be switched on, and you know I haven't had like the because it's been funny in lockdown. I haven't had to been able to have like a you know like a, one of my unusual camps. It's been a bit unusual. Like I've been cycling and running, but it's. I've only, you know, I've only been getting back into into doing like boxing training a bit, uh, you know, and and then I I find it, and then I suddenly had a fight to um, to get into. So uh, yeah, it'd be good to to knock the cobwebs off. And and what's helped as well is um, having just uh, such great sparring. It's good to have Bacoli in uh, from Scotland. I thought um, I thought he's really good and skillful and just what I need to prepare me for this kind of fight. Yeah, of course, you talked uh, uh, about the Bacoli spikes etc. of Kugan the other week, I think it was last week. Um, Joe, you said you were surprised about the opponent for Dan yeah. uh, that they've got for, for next month. Why? Yeah, Fife is good, man. I, I, I've, I've sparred him before and he, I think he's a, he's a good amateur. He's very seasoned. He's done WSB, uh, beat Yoko twice, I think he said. So, yeah, he's, um, I'll be interested to see how that pans out. I'm, I'm sure... Um, Daniel will probably get the, the job done, but it'll be a tough fight. You seemed hesitant there. Huh? Yeah. When you said when you said Daniel will get the job done, you well, we hope, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, he'll be cheering you on uh, this Saturday night. I'm sure you'll be doing the same uh, on uh, 29th of August. And then, uh, yeah, we're set for a, a massive one, as Frank said. Yeah, and I can't wait. Mm. Joe, um, obviously, uh, we're going through the situation now. Um, but it looks like fans will be allowed uh, in October. Yeah. How, how would you feel though if if you fought Dan with a, a very limited crowd or no fans at all? That wouldn't. Yeah, it, we'd it, just it, be yeah. dead. It wouldn't be worth it. We might as well just postpone it again mm. because it's one of them big fights that you want to say that you've been there because it's such a big fight. 
you don't want to be like, oh, I watched it on um, on TV. <laughs> you want to be like, yeah, I was there, it was sick. Like, and like you want to hear, like you have the sweat and the blood and stuff spraying off in the crowd and like, you know, pe people who have been, just been back from the bar and like the fights in the crowd, you know, the pr proper boxing <laughs> event. <laughs> so like, which fight am I watching? Not keeping that two meter uh, distance. Yeah, I know. Um, even if you got say 10,000 at the O2, that would be a result, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I, w I wonder what they're gonna do. Like, hopefully it's gonna, um, hopefully it's gonna be all good and all very, um, you know, well looked after. And I think there's less. I think there's less cases now. They don't think there's any cases in London. So there's a few out of England, I think. But um, I think we're kind of getting through it now. Mm. I, I would hope. Yeah, and let's, let's hope so. I mean, yeah. the government did say October fans are going to be allowed back, back, in, back in. We don't know how many yeah. uh, for each event, but uh, it's positive news. Joe, um, as mentioned there, you're the underdog against Dan, even though with your, your spectacular amateur record and in the professional ranks, you've fought much better opposition than Daniel. Yeah. Um, you've got a, a lot of strength, obviously, but a weakness that people point out is that you, you do take shots. Yeah. Um, and that's why people probably think, well, if Dan catches you, you're going to go. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you feel like there, there's a realistic chance that in the first three rounds he's going to be at his most dangerous and, and there could be a point where you have to get up off the canvas, Joe? Yeah, definitely, man. I've, um, I've felt his punches before, even though he was young. But you sparred, didn't you? Yeah, I sparred, I sparred him. So I know he's got the power and that. And, you know, it's going to be very risky few rounds and it's going to be exciting to watch. And you know I might have to like <laughs> get off the floor, but preferably, preferably not. Preferably I've learned en enough to like be able to slip and move out of the way of his punches, and you know, st and start troubling with my own. And like I, I don't think he's gonna like my punches with the with the pro gloves like in his in his face. Do you think people aren't talking about enough the possibility of you catching him? And see what, how he reacts to a shot from you. Yeah, because I mean, you see him troubled by Richard Latte um, with his red eyes, with you know, just straight off the flight. <laughs> they were swinging them <laughs> oh two. They God. were swinging, weren't they? Yeah. So um, you know, you never know with heavyweight boxing. That's why it's going to be so exciting. And uh, like, just, you know, get get these two fights out of the way, both of us, and then we'll get on in October. Do you believe you stop him, Joe? Do what? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd hope so. I don't want to do any overtime. But if, if not, it, well, I mean, I, d I doubt it's going to go to points over 12 rounds. All right, Joe Joyce, best of luck uh, this Saturday night. Uh, what happens now? You go into quarantine, basically? Yeah, I will have to go into the hotel on Wednesday. And then, um, yeah, it'll be locked down until the fight. And we'll be getting tested and stuff like that along the way. So, um, you know, that we're both clean and we can we can fight well hopefully you both come back negative we get the fight on Dubois does the, the business next month and then yeah we get uh, hopefully some fans at the O2 and uh, we're living in a perfect world then Joe definitely alright Joe Joyce thank All you right, very much nice for time, Phil TV.